Just because a player stops taking to the field or retires from playing doesn't mean they aren't still helping their teams to win. Big John, why don't you put your hands on that trophy? I know you've had it in your hands before, but this one for constructing this team. Most football fans know that the 49ers GM John Lynch was once a superstar safety, and that Jason Garrett backed up Troy Aikman in the Cowboys' glory years, and that Frank Reich was once a folk hero in Buffalo. But did you know that there were other notable former NFLers that have quietly been working behind the scenes on the coaching staff or in the front office of your favorite NFL club? Here's one former NFLer you had no idea was helping behind the scenes of your favorite team. Arizona Cardinals, Adrian Wilson. Obviously, Cardinals fans remember this man very well. Wilson was one of the NFL's elite defensive players of the 2000s, renowned for his strong pass rushing skills as a safety. The five-time pro bowler was instrumental in helping Arizona reach Super Bowl 43, the only big game appearance in their entire history. Though Wilson and cards fell just short, he remains involved in the team's quest for their first Lombardi trophy. After his playing career, Wilson joined the Cardinals scouting department. In the 2021 offseason, he was promoted to vice president of pro scouting. Atlanta Falcons, TJ Yates. Yates spent most of his career as a backup quarterback, but he's remembered well in the hearts of Houston Texans fans. Following season-ending injuries to starter Matt Schaub and main backup Matt Leinert in 2011, Yates took over the starting duties for the rest of the season. He helped guide the Texans to an AFC South Division title and to their first ever postseason berth and postseason victory that year. Yates, who backed up Matt Ryan in 2014, was hired to join Arthur Smith's coaching staff in 2021 as a passing game specialist. Baltimore Ravens Bobby Ingram Ingram is best known for his time at the Seattle Seahawks, where he played from 2001 to 2008. Ingram crossed 1,000 yards in the 2007 season, and he was instrumental in helping Seattle reach Super Bowl XL. After his playing career, though, Ingram stuck around in football as a coach. In 2019, the Ravens hired him to serve as their new tight ends coach. So, Baltimore fans, you ought to thank Ingram for helping develop Mark Andrews into a pro bowler. Buffalo Bills Ken Dorsey the Miami Hurricanes legend was a two-time Heisman Trophy finalist, guiding his team to a national championship in 2001. But Dorsey never got it going at the NFL level, spending the bulk of his five-year career as a backup. Dorsey was the Carolina Panthers quarterback's coach from 2013 to 2017. In 2019, Bills head coach Sean McDermott brought his old friend over to serve as the Buffalo quarterback coach. And all Dorsey has done in Buffalo is help Josh Allen grow into a top-tier quarterback. Carolina Panthers Chase Blackburn New York Giants fans fondly remember Blackburn for his clutch performances in the team's Super Bowl championship seasons in 2007 and 2011. Blackburn has been on the Carolina coaching staff since 2016, and he was promoted to special teams coordinator in the 2018 season. Chicago Bears Mike Adams the former journeyman safety was a two-time pro bowler for the Indianapolis Colts. He also played in Super Bowl 48 for the Denver Broncos. Adams retired after the 2019 season. In 2021, the Bears hired Adams to serve as an assistant defensive backs coach. Cincinnati Bengals, Troy Walters. Remember him? We're especially looking at you, Colts and Vikings fans. Walters was once among the NFL's top special teams returners, racking up 1,150 kick return yards alone in the 2002 season for the Colts. In 2021, the Bengals hired Walters to serve as an assistant wide receivers coach. He obviously impressed head coach Zach Taylor enough because Walter was then promoted to wide receivers coach in 2021. Cleveland Browns, Jim Brown. The greatest player in franchise history isn't in the spotlight much these days, but he has been working behind the scenes in Cleveland. The Hall of Fame fullback rejoined the team as a special advisor in 2013, a role he still holds today. Dallas Cowboys, Al Harris. The former Green Bay Packers Pro Bowl corner will always be remembered for his game ceiling pick six in overtime off of Matt Hasselbeck in the 2003 NFC wildcard round. But did you Packers fans know that Harris now works for one of the team's historic rivals? In 2020, Harris was hired by Mike McCarthy, his former head coach in Green Bay, to serve as the Dallas secondary coach. Denver Broncos, Mike Munchak. The nine-time Pro Bowler and Hall of Fame offensive tackle has enjoyed a coaching career that has spanned nearly three full decades now. 
Munchak was the Tennessee Titans head coach for three years from 2011 to 2013. After that, he was hired to coach the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive line, a position Munchak held from 2014 to 2018. Following his departure from Pittsburgh, Munchak was hired to coach the Broncos offensive line in 2019. A credit to this man for helping Garrett Bowles to shed the bust label. Detroit Lions, Antoine Randall L. The Steelers loved using Randall L as a gadget player in special teams artists. No Pittsburgh fan has forgotten about his touchdown pass to Heinz Ward that essentially clinched Super Bowl 40. In 2019, Randall L joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as an offensive assistant, winning a Super Bowl 55 ring with them. After the Super Bowl, the Lions hired him for the wide receiver's coaching role. Green Bay Packers Jerry Gray. Gray played nine NFL seasons from 1985 to 93. He was a four-time Pro Bowl defensive back for the Los Angeles Rams, earning those selections in four straight years from 1985 to 89. After his playing career, Gray would become a coach for five other NFL teams before eventually landing with the Packers in 2020 as their defensive backs coach and passing game coordinator. Houston Texans, Brian Cushing. The Texans released the longtime fan favorite in 2018 after nine seasons together. It didn't take long for Cushing to come back home, however. One year after his release, the Texans rehired Cushing for the assistant strength and conditioning coach position. It's like he never left. Indianapolis Colts, Kevin Mawe. Mawe, simply put, was one of the most dominant offensive linemen the NFL has ever seen. He earned a whopping eight Pro Bowl and seven first-team All-Pro selections en route to Canton. Mawe spent three years as an offensive analyst at Arizona State before the Colts hired him in 2021 to work as an assistant offensive line coach. Indianapolis already has arguably the best O-line in the league, but this move should make them even better. Jacksonville Jaguars, Marcus Pollard. Pollard actually never played college football. He instead played college basketball at Bradley before giving pro football a chance. And he carved out quite a career for himself, all things considered. Pollard joined the Colts in 1995 and wound up playing 14 NFL seasons for four teams, retiring after the 2008 season. Five years later, Jacksonville hired Pollard to serve as the team's director of player engagement and youth football. He remains employed in that role today. Kansas City Chiefs, Sam Madison. The four-time Pro Bowl corner spent nine seasons with the Miami Dolphins from 1997 to 2005 before playing his final three years with the Giants, where he earned a Super Bowl 42 ring. Ten years after his playing career, Madison was hired by the Chiefs for the defensive back slash cornerbacks coaching role. In his first year there, Kansas City won Super Bowl 54. They also got back to the big game one year later. Las Vegas Raiders, Marcel Reese. Reese was one of the last great NFL fullbacks before the position came kind of sort of went away. The four-time pro bowler with the Oakland Raiders is now working towards bringing a Super Bowl championship to Sin City. In 2020, Raiders owner Mark Davis reunited with Reese by hiring him to work as the senior advisor to the owner and president. Los Angeles Chargers, Michael Wilhoyt. Late in the 2011 season, the 49ers signed the undrafted Will Hoyt to their practice squad. He found a nice home on San Fran's special teams unit, helping them reach Super Bowl 47, where they fell to the Baltimore Ravens. Will Hoyt played his final season for the Seahawks in 2017. Two years later, he became a special teams assistant for the New Orleans Saints. Will Hoyt stayed with the team until 2020 before the Chargers hired him as their linebackers coach. Los Angeles Rams, Eric Dickerson. Every Rams super fan knows who Eric Dickerson is. But did you know that he's been with the team since 2017? Dickerson works in the Rams administration as the vice president of business development. Miami Dolphins, Charlie Fry. The former Akron quarterback spent five seasons in the NFL, mostly as a backup for the Browns, Raiders, and Seahawks. He was Cleveland's main starter in the 2006 season. In January 2021, the Dolphins handed Fry his first NFL coaching job, assigning him to the quarterback's coach position. Minnesota Vikings, Keenan McCardell. McCardell is one of the more underrated receivers in NFL history. He won Super Bowl rings with Washington and Tampa Bay. Surprisingly, McCardell isn't in the Hall of Fame despite racking up 883 career catches for 11,373 yards and 63 touchdowns. After spending time in Jacksonville as the wide receivers coach, McCardell was hired for the same role by the Vikings. That's very good news for Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. New England Patriots, Troy Brown. Brown was a key component of the Patriots' first three Super Bowl championship teams. In 2020, more than a decade after his retirement, New England hired Brown as the running backs and kick returners coach. 
New Orleans Saints, Ronald Curry. The versatile Curry played quarterback and running back at North Carolina during his four collegiate seasons. The Raiders drafted him in the seventh round in 2002, and Curry was mostly used as a receiver. Curry spent his entire seven-year career with the Raiders, which lasted until 2008. He spent two seasons as an offensive assistant in San Fran before joining the Saints in 2018 to serve as their wide receivers coach. In the 2021 offseason, Curry was promoted to the role of quarterback's coach. New York Giants, Jesse Armstead. Armstead was a five-time Pro Bowl and three-time first-team All-Pro linebacker during his nine seasons with the Giants, which spanned from 1993 to 2001. Armstead joined the Giants as a special assistant and consultant in 2008. He was on staff for their Super Bowl 46 championship season. He now serves as a special assistant to the general manager. New York Jets. Miles Austin. Remember him, Cowboys fans? There was a time where Austin and Des Bryant were among the NFL's most feared receiving duos. In 2019, the 49ers hired Austin to serve as the offensive quality control coach. Two years later, new Jets head coach Robert Sala brought Austin over to work as the team's wide receivers coach. Philadelphia Eagles, Connor Barwin. Barwin was one of the Eagles' top players during the forgettable Chip Kelly era, earning a Pro Bowl selection in 2014 after recording 14.5 sacks. During the 2020 offseason, the Eagles hired Barwin to work as a special assistant to GM Howie Roseman. Pittsburgh Steelers, Ike Hilliard. Hilliard enjoyed a stellar 12-year career, eight years with the Giants and four with the Bucks. The Florida Gators icon caught 546 passes for 6,397 yards and 35 touchdowns in his career. Hilliard has worked in the NFL as a wide receivers coach since 2011. After his six seasons in Washington, Hilliard was hired by the Steelers for the position of wide receivers coach. He was instrumental in helping Chase Claypool enjoy quite the rookie year. San Francisco 49ers, Wes Welker. Welker was one of the NFL's most explosive receivers during his time with the Patriots, which spanned from 2007 to 2012. The superstar wideout topped 100 catches in five different seasons, and he crossed 1,000 yards five times too. Welker was also part of the Broncos' record-setting offense in 2013, helping them reach Super Bowl 48. After spending two seasons on the Texans coaching staff, Welker was hired by the 49ers in 2019 to serve as the wide receivers coach. Seattle Seahawks, Aaron Curry. The number four pick from the 2009 draft is one of the biggest busts in NFL history. But hey, so what if the NFL didn't work out for Curry as a player? He's sure enjoying the alternative. Curry joined the Seahawks as a coaching assistant in 2020. One year later, he was promoted to the role of defensive assistant slash linebackers coach. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Larry Foote. Foote was a standout linebacker on the Pittsburgh Steelers during their glorious run in the 2000s. Foote won Super Bowl 40 and 43 rings in Pittsburgh, and his winning ways followed him into his coaching career. In 2019, Bruce Arians hired Foote for the outside linebacker's coaching job. Foote was on staff when the Bucs won Super Bowl 55. Tennessee Titans, Rob Moore. Moore was one of the NFL's most underrated players during the 90s. He earned Pro Bowl selections with the Jets and Cardinals, even leading the NFL in receiving during the 1997 campaign. Moore began a coaching career in 2002 at Montclair High School. 11 years later, he earned his first NFL coaching job as the Bills receiving coach. Moore would spend three years in Oakland before the Titans hired him as the wide receivers coach in 2018. Washington football team, Randy Jordan. Did you know that Jordan scored the first touchdown in Jacksonville? Jaguars history? There's one to stump your friends with. Open is Jordan. First down and more as Jordan is on the run. Randy Jordan, the first touchdown ever for Jacksonville. Jordan's NFL career spanned from 1993 to 2002. He joined the Raiders coaching staff in 2003 before eventually landing running back coaching roles at Nebraska, Texas A&M, and North Carolina. Since 2014, Jordan has worked as Washington's running backs coach. He's a key reason why this team has enjoyed so much success with an assortment of backs, with range from Alfred Morris to Adrian Peterson to Antonio Gibson. But what other former NFL players are helping behind the scenes of your favorite team? Join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.